And this is how the DM warms up for his show by beating Super Mario Brothers 3. Can't leave him in the guy. Hi Stark. I've decided that this show needs to talk more about Shadowrun. Like most things in life, it needs more Shadowrun. And the story in particular that, that tickles my fancy today, as well as other things on me which explains too much about me, is the story of what I'm going to call table dancing. Now, once again, we're with our intrepid band of explorers, uh, you know, Seth the Fizz Ad, Jet the Drug Addict, and uh, Linnaeus the Hacker. Of course, this time, they're joined by um, the Heavy. We're going to call him Rob. Rob was a troll. And um, Rob was a strong troll. I don't think he hit stuff. I think he just shot stuff with machine guns. But he, but he went to make damn sure that he was strong. So anyway... They had started up this rivalry with this other troll, and they were just trying and trying, and this troll was interfering and interfering, and they had decided that, you know what, we're going to kill this troll. So they started hunting this troll. The next thing you know, think Nakatomi. This troll is in this high-rise building, and he's got all these hostages. And... As you can imagine, you know, a high-rise building in the Shadowrun world, if you're familiar with Shadowrun, you know that these things aren't exactly just like they are today. And um, he had security on his side. Eventually, Rob, who was really, really sympathetic about a lot of things, decides he's going to try and negotiate to see if he can't, you know, free some hostages from this guy. And while they're talking, um, they discover that access to the next floor has been cut off from them. I believe there was an explosion in the staircase or the elevators were out or it was a secret executive floor. For whatever reason, they couldn't get to the next floor. So Jet, high out of his mind, gets this great idea. Let's go through the floor. And, and of course the part is like, what, 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 go through the floor? What do you mean? go through the floor. That'll take us down. He's like, no, 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 the floor! And he points up. And they look up, and they see the drop ceiling up there, and then they just kind of look at him, like... And of course, the troll's like, let's do this! So, uh. they go around, and they're grabbing anything they can, and they just start stacking it up, and then the troll just stands on top of it, reaches the ceiling, and he just starts punching. And he's punching, and he's punching, and he's punching. They eventually punch their way to the next floor. As you can imagine, this punching attracted loads of security. I can't imagine why. Because you don't just punch through a floor and have no one notice. So, they immediately get ambushed by security. Um, surprisingly, they win. They're hurting a little bit, so they're trying to sit in there back up, you know, patch up some wounds. When the troll starts talking again, and they're talking to each other, and eventually he convinces him to release some hostages. The next thing they know, they look out the window, and they see two bodies falling. And they're like, oh, shit. Well, I guess he released some hostages, all right. Very poor choice of words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very poor choice of words. Um, now, the adventure continues. They go a few more floors, and the troll gets on the, gets on the comm and says, he's going to release a few more hostages. So... The troll, being the good guy that he is, knows what's going down. So he goes over, shoots out the glass, looks out, 
tries to catch some fallen hostages. That doesn't work. The evil troll is cackling up there and saying, you know what, I'll release two more! And at this point in time, the good troll, Rob, is bound and determined that these guys will be caught. So here's what he does. He grabs a nearby conference table, grabs the elf, Linnaeus, puts him on the table, shoves the table out the door. And he's like, catch him or you're not coming back in. Well, with an ultimatum like that, you can imagine how stressful the next couple of rolls were. You can imagine what it was like having an elf on the end of a table, dangling above certain doom, trying to catch two bodies. Linnaeus sur survived throughout all this, surprisingly. Um, but he almost died, because one of the bodies hit him on the way down. What can I say? Critical glitches are, were bad back then. Really, really bad. Anyway, so they get up there. They start battling the troll. The troll is just laughing and cackling and having a grand old time because, you know, they're, you know, fighting him, fighting him, fighting him, and, and the troll's just, you know, off in hostages left and right. Eventually they corner him, rob throws him out a window, and I'm sitting here thinking to myself, well, I'm not done being a dick. At least one of the players seems to be pretty, pretty angry about this guy, and I don't want to let a good thing go. So I hand of God him. Don't know what hand of God is, I'll tell you. You burn off your entire karma pool to um, save yourself from death. So I do that with this evil troll, and uh, he catches on to a nearby uh, passing air vehicle of some kind. And all the color just went out of Rob's face. He was just so pissed off, so angry at me. And I just sat there and smiled. Not much to say beyond that. I mean, it, it was pretty crazy, as I realize most adventures that involved a jet were. And I don't think about it. I think it was a situation of he was just so high, like, the players got a contact high from him. Tune in next time. And uh, we'll talk about probably what was supposed to be my magnum opus in, 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 in Shadowrun. We'll talk about the story of the road trip to New York. I'm, uh, I'm the DM, and I couldn't make this shit up if I tried. Is that done? Wow. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, God, you just leave me. You just leave me right here. Oh, it's so cold.